Hey sweet friends, welcome back to Simply Home and Harvest. I'm Jen. Today we are celebrating Tim's birthday. We've had a very busy week at Vacation Bible School at our church this week. His birthday actually was on Wednesday. Today's Saturday. But we cannot go let a year go by without celebrating in some way. And he's always, you know, kind of fussing at me like, you put so much on yourself. You don't have to, we don't have to have dessert and all the things. But I always try to make each birthday special, do a special birthday dinner for each member of the family, do a special dessert. So I said, okay, well, I, we won't have to do dessert if you don't want it. Um, we're going out to dinner with family tonight. But then later on, he was like, hey, you know, I would like a pecan pie. So we're going to make pecan pie tonight. And then also I've been wanting to do something with fresh blueberries. I thought about doing blueberry jam and then that just didn't pan out. Um, so I was thinking, well, we could do pecan pie. And since they both will bake the same amount of time, we'll just do a blueberry pie and I'll bring you along to do all that. So that's what we're gonna take care of today. But first we gotta go into food line and get some of the ingredients that we need. Perfect, blueberries are still on sale. we have pecans at home because that is a lot to pay for a cup and a half. y'all we are back home and it's time to make some pies for tonight's birthday celebration like i said we're going to go out to eat um, as a family and then my parents and my brother and sister-in-law and the triplets are going to come back here for dessert that's typically the way we do things sometimes we bring in takeout makes it a little bit easier um, but believe it or not y'all tim decided to go with his annual tradition of the japanese steakhouse even though we have exhausted some homemade hibachi here this summer. So I was shocked that he still wanted to go to the Japanese Steakhouse, but I guess it's better when someone else cooks it for you. So that's the plan tonight, which means we don't really need dessert afterwards because probably none of us are gonna be able to hold it. But I thought, you know, a pie is something you can cut a tiny slice of and enjoy. It's not too heavy. And then also if we have leftovers, you know, that don't get eaten next week, probably will, we can freeze a pie, that's pretty easy. So that's the plan. And then two, um, you know, I had these pecans in the freezer. These are the ones left over from the fall that a sweet friend gave me. And um, this is the last of them. They were so delicious. So hopefully I'll be able to get some pecans from her again this year. I'm hoping this is a cup of, and a half, but you saw $5.99 for a cup and a half of store brand chopped pecans at, or pecans, I say it, pecans and pecans. What do y'all say? Pecans. Um, there's so many different ways to say it, but it's still the same nut. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping this is a cup and a half. We're going to measure it out and see, like I said, we're going to do pecan pie. And then we're also going to, going to make a blueberry pie. And I'm not going off either one of my own recipes. I'm going off of some tried and true sweet ladies that I follow on YouTube and Facebook. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Brenda Gant, but if you don't follow Brenda Gant, you need to follow Brenda Gant. Also, Mimi's Recipes. Follow her as well. Um, both of them are on Instagram. Brenda Gant's mostly on Facebook. You can catch some of her videos on YouTube, although there's a lot of people out there on YouTube that um, put up like fake videos of her and claim to be her, so just be careful with that. And then Mimi's Recipes, she has a YouTube channel. But this is Brenda Gant. She is just this sweet southern lady from Alabama. And I love to watch her mostly for her personality, but she's got great recipes too. So we're going to, I was gifted this for Christmas last year. So we're going to make her pecan pie or pecan pie or pecan pie, however you say it. We're going to make it and I can't wait to taste it. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, this is my first time trying this one. And then the other, the blueberry pie recipe that we're going to make is one that I saw on an Instagram reel, but it's from Mimi's Recipes. And she's so sweet. Um, both of these are older ladies, Southern ladies. And at the end of every video, 
on Mimi's recipe, she always says, shine for Jesus. And I love that. I think that's so sweet. So I'm going to make both of their recipes and we'll try them out. I've never made them before and see how they are. Now, I love a good homemade pie crust, but we are doing this spur of the moment and I picked up some help. So I just got the good old Food Line brand pie crust. Um, I think they're going to be fine because we're going to doctor it up and nobody will ever know probably that they're not homemade. But I do love a good homemade pie crust. And they're very, they're very easy to make if you can make them ahead and put them like in your freezer. Um, we don't have time for that. So we're gonna use the help of the store bought and that's okay. All right, let's measure these out and see if we can get a cup and a half. I think we are. Oh yeah, you know what? Look at that. Y'all, yeah, well, that is perfect. That is exactly a cup and a half of chopped pecans. How about that? It must be meant to be for Tim to have a pecan pie on his birthday. All right, let's get to baking. Both recipes are going to be baked at 350 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and get the oven preheated for that. Y'all see all my tomatoes in the background? That's another load um, in addition to what I showed you in the last video. Tomatoes are rolling in. So next week, we have our work cut out for us processing all these tomatoes. I have got a list this long because I could not get it done this week with everything going on with Vacation Bible School. All right, we're going to first line both of these baking sheets with aluminum foil so that we don't have any drips in our oven because you know when you bake pies that can happen all right we are going to make our pecan pie first the first thing we're going to do is get one of these pie crusts in our pie dish i'm going to use this one for our pecan pie and so i don't use these pie crusts very often <laughs> I think all we need to do is just roll it out and put it in there. And then we'll just kind of flute the edges, try to make them pretty. I've got my little baking mat here. I thought that might be easier to get it rolled out on. I think these are probably more pliable when they're at room temperature. Maybe, let's see, let it come to room temperature. Yep, you should bring these to room temperature. So, maybe I need to let it sit here for a few minutes. We'll do that. I'll try to speed up the process here, see if I can get it rolled out a little bit. parchment paper over the pie crust so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin. pretty I am not a professional baker by any means so forgive me those of you who have who are pie baking experts um, but our crust was a little uneven on this side it's all about how it tastes anyway right, right. <laughs> okay now that we've got our pie crust in the plate we're just gonna mix together our remaining ingredients so I've got a cup and a half of our chopped pecans Tim's sitting here hanging out with me while I cook. How do you say it? How do you say it? Pecan. 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 All English right. English would be, you pronounce the first vowel by its name and the second one by its sound. So, E, <laughs> ah. You might have some nah. people disagree with you. Not E, A. I, I think it's a, it's a culture thing. I think it's wherever you grew yeah, up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Okay. Sure. We've got our pecans or 
whatever you call them, in our bowl. And then we're gonna add one cup of light corn syrup. Now I did spray my measuring cup, just hoping that it comes out a little bit easier here. So that's one cup. And then you can show them that bottle. This is what, <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> All right, and then, you have it. You're not, you don't hang around with me very often when I cook, do you? Okay, then we're gonna add half a cup of sugar to this. This is a sweet pie. I thought it was just a spoonful of sugar. No, this one is, gets a half a cup. And then we've got three eggs that we've already beaten here. There's a lot of noise behind me, but that's okay, because that, we live here, right? And then, one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna use my homemade vanilla. It's almost to the end of this jar. Then we're gonna have to open up another one. So I'm trying not to let the beans fall out in here. That looks good. Somebody commented they like the way I measure vanilla. Cause I don't measure right. vanilla. <laughs> you can't. You can't unless have you too pour, much. <laughs> unless you pour the whole jar in there, you yeah, you, be fine. you could probably have too much, but. Yeah, it would take a lot. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna mix this together and then into our pie plate, or our pie crust rather, it's gonna go. It does look good. What's in flat pan? The flat pan is so you put your pie crust on it so that you don't have, cause this is probably, it, well, this one might not bubble over, but the blueberry pie definitely will bubble, bubble oh, over. Gotcha. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's to keep it like clean. It. I really like hot dogs with All right. So that the best. Here we go. Yes, it is. Why do you call them Ooh, can I get a bite now? No, you probably don't want to eat it now. Uh, I, think, I don't think it's approved by the FDA to eat it now. FDA. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hopefully that's going to rise a little bit. If not, you're going to have a lot of crust and not a lot of pie. Maybe I should put that one in the other There's room for the ice cream. Plate. I guess so. Leave room for the ice cream. Okay. This one's going into the oven for 40 minutes. All right. So we're going to move on to our blueberry pie now. And I did the same thing to this pie crust, let it come to room temperature, and then I rolled it out a little bit so that we could get it easily into our pie dish. Now this pie dish is a little smaller, and now I'm thinking I should have switched the two, but that's okay. We will make it work. We're gonna put a lattice on top of this, so if we have some hanging over, we're gonna hide that part anyway with our, with our strips for the lattice. So just get it in there the best you can. Press it down into the bottom. And then I'm gonna kinda like just tuck my crust under here. This is probably not really a pie plate, <laughs> but I have used it as one for many years. I just recently got the other pie plate and there's not too many times that I make more than one pie at a time. So I don't normally need more than one. Um, and this, this particular dish, I've used it a lot for like chicken pot pie in the past or cheeseburger pie, but I don't use it to make regular pies very often. Okay. All right. We're going to set that to the side and now we're going to work on our blueberries. So I have rinsed my four cups of blueberries and you want to do this because you want them a little wet and I'm going to show you why. Oh, there's one that don't look too great toss that one. Now you'll want to try to get all the stems off the blueberries. Most of the time they don't have any, but sometimes, you know, you have one or two that do. So I try to go through there and get as many of those off as I see. And then, let's just use this thing. We're going to take a cup of self-rising flour, sprinkle this over our blueberries and just kind of toss our blueberries in this and the fact that they are still a little wet from being rinsed will help that flour to stick to them. And I'm just gonna do this very gently so I don't pop any of those blueberries. Try to keep them as whole as possible. They'll do enough of that in the oven. All right, so you just wanna make sure you're getting them coated. And then we'll shake off the excess flour before they go into our dish. That's why I got the slotted spoon. I thought that would be a little easier. We'll try to shake off. 
to shake off the excess. All right, so now we're just gonna transfer these blueberries over to our pie crust. Maybe start out with a half a cup of flour. I think a cup is probably too much. So I'm going, it's gonna take me a couple, take me some extra time. I'm gonna to try to like use my hand to get off that excess flour. And we'll come back. Okay, so see how much flour we have left over? So I think instead of the one cup of flour like was recommended, I would maybe start out with a half a cup and maybe you could go up from there, but you're just wanting to get them covered. That way you don't, you don't have a lot of excess flour there. So that looks good. We could probably add another cup of strawberries if we wanted to, just to pile it up on top. Uh, but now we're going to, let me clean my hand off and then we'll continue. All right, next thing we're gonna do is sprinkle some sugar over top. Now she said about a cup of sugar. I'm gonna start with half a cup. And you're just going, y'all see that? We're just gonna sprinkle that just over the top. Try to give it, get it even. So that's half a cup. I think that's going to be plenty for me. Like I said, I don't think this pie dish is probably as large as hers. All right. And you know, once we try the pie, if it's not as sweet, we'll remember next time that we might want to add more sugar. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take two thirds of a stick of butter. We're just gonna cut this into little squares and then we're just going to put those right on top of our blueberries pats of butter i guess is what we would call this so you're just going to lay those right on top this is so easy now i wish i could tell you that i went and picked all these blueberries myself i had every intention of doing that this year but we just kind of ran out of time um and I think the weekend that like the blueberries around here were at their prime, we were on vacation and then I just never got a chance to go. So that's definitely something I'd like to do. I've never been to pick um, blueberries from a farm before. So I thought that would have been fun. So I just let Food, food Line pick these for me. Um, but right now they got that sale going on and I was tempted to buy some extra blueberries and go ahead and make that jam. So you may see that in an upcoming video. We'll see if I have time next week. I might do that because I thought it would be nice to make up some blueberry jam and can it. And I like to give jams and butters, fruit butters and fruit spreads and stuff as gifts at Christmas. So that would be something we could go ahead and do to get a jump on the holidays. All right, that is definitely enough butter there. And now I'm gonna set that to the side for just a second. And we are going to take the other pie crust. So this pie, you'll need two pie crust. So we're gonna take our other pie crust and we're gonna cut it into strips and then we're going to use those strips to make a lattice over the top. Now you could use a knife to cut this. Um, when I watched, whoops, maybe do that recipe, she used the back of a knife, but I thought maybe this would be a little bit more efficient. This is a pizza cutter, so. That's what I'm gonna use. You just wanna cut strips there. So we're gonna take our longest strip. In this case, we've got two that are about the same length and you're gonna make that the piece that goes across the top. Oh yeah. We definitely have a smaller pie plate. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to, I'll just fold it back into itself like that.
gonna seal my edges here. Now, again, probably not the prettiest pie crust you've ever seen. And you could have cut off those ends. I just decided to tuck them underneath. Um, but if you want to make it really neat looking, you know, you could weave the lattice in and out. You could do all kinds of fancy stuff. But I just chose not to do that tonight. All right. I'm now going to sprinkle this with a little bit more sugar. Just over the top. That butter is going to melt. It's going to be so delicious. I'm excited. All right, so the pie is ready to go into our oven. We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. So here's our pie out of the oven. And like Tim said, we'll have plenty of room for ice cream. But I know, I feel like I know what some of y'all are thinking. And as soon as I pulled it out, I was like, oh gosh, I know what I should have done. So because I had this excess crust here, I should have like folded it in to the pie. And so that would have made like a neat crust around the edge. So live and learn. If I do this again, I'll know. I'll probably use a different pie plate if I do this one again. Um, but like Tim said, and it's his birthday, that it's not about how it looks so much as how it tastes. So room for ice cream. Hopefully this one will be delicious, as delicious as it smells and looks. So I know I've told y'all before that sometimes we like to watch the Andy Griffith show at night. And one of my favorite parts of that show is how Aunt B always has like pie after dinner, you know, for dessert. And she brings out the pies and the coffee. Everybody has coffee and pie together. And I think, oh, that is so nice just to end the evening with a piece of pie and some coffee. And I would love to think that I could do that at night, um, but I'm not sure I would be able to sleep <laughs> if I was consistently eating pie and coffee late at night. So what do you guys do? Do you have a cup of coffee in the evening? I know lots of people that do that. They wind down with a cup of coffee in the evening. Um, it used to not bother me at all, and now it bothers me a little bit, so I have to be careful with that. But I just think that that is the life. Pie for dessert with a cup of coffee to end each day. What do y'all think? y'all well everyone's left we enjoyed the blueberry pie and the pecan pie but sadly I didn't get a picture of it um I just I just didn't so I thought that I would get Tim to tell us his opinion on the pies I think they were both a big hit to everyone but um did one they were stand good. out more yeah, than the, the other? blueberry well they both were great in their own regards the blueberry was very fresh and kind of organic so you know real real fresh and fruity and the the um, pecan was really good. It wasn't overly sweet, and it was mm -hmm. you know had a good good take, good flavor to it. They, they were yes, they were both really good. Now, I just think I need to work on my pie making skills because when I cut into both of them, 
they were kind of runny, which my mom said, oh, once they sat a little bit longer, they'll be fine. So, they weren't pretty. Like, I couldn't have cut a piece and, like, made a pretty picture out of it. <laughs> they kind of fell apart, but they were Tasted good. Tasted great. That's yeah, all that that's, that's all that matters. That's right. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you had a happy birthday. It was great. That we celebrated later. Hibachi, the Japanese restaurant, was so good. It mm -hmm. always is. Um, so, I included some of that in this video. All right, guys. Well, we are going to end the video here tonight. It's late. We've got church tomorrow, so we need to start preparing for our Sunday and Sunday school and all those things. So, until next time, remember to live simply. Use what you have. Enjoy the moments you've been given, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.